Welcome to Introductory Statistics Using SPSS Second Edition. This video shows how to set up variables in a new database and how to enter data. You can watch the entire video or use the time slider to navigate directly to any time point. Before you can enter data into SPSS, each variable needs to be established. This is accomplished by creating unique variable names for each variable and then telling SPSS what kind of data the variable will contain. For this example, we'll set up an SPSS database that contains two variables, gender, a categorical variable, and age, a continuous variable. SPSS has two main screens, the Data View screen and the Variable View screen. The Data View screen is used to view, edit, delete, or enter data. The Variable View screen is used to establish or change the characteristics of the variables. First, we need to establish the variables, then we can enter data in them. Click on Variable View to set up the variables and click on the upper left cell. Begin by entering the name for the first variable, gender. Variables can be up to 64 characters, but the first character must be a letter. Also, each variable name needs to be unique, no repeats within the database. You'll notice that SPSS automatically fills in default values for most of the other properties. For type, We'll leave that as numeric, although as you can see, there are other choices. These choices are fairly self-explanatory, except for string, which allows the variable to contain text. We'll leave the width at 8, but we'll change the decimals to 0. For other cases, set the width wide enough to accommodate the largest anticipated entry for that variable. For example, if you expected a variable to contain a figure like 123.45, you would specify a width of at least 5 and two decimal places. We'll leave label blank. This means that SPSS will use the variable named gender in all output reports. For values, we'll assign one for female, and 2 for male. Click OK. We won't specify any missing values. We'll use 8 for columns, and since we've assigned textual labels to this variable, we'll select left align. Since gender is a categorical variable, we'll set measure to nominal. Scale is for continuous variables. If your version of SPSS has the role property, leave it set to the default, input. If your version of SPSS doesn't have the role property, it's fine. It won't affect the processing. Now we'll come back to the left and enter the properties for the next variable, age. We'll use all the default properties except for decimal, which we'll set to zero. Now that we've defined the properties for the variables, we can switch to the Data View screen and begin entering data. 2 for male, 24. 1 for female, 25. If you can't remember the value labels, you can click on the Value Labels icon to show the text assigned to each variable and proceed with the data entry. Male. 31, male, 19, female, 27. You can switch back and forth from the numeric to the label view at any time. This concludes this video.